Hello everybody, I am Mizbah, your maths educator and we are over here with some MCQs in the chapter triangles. So let's start with it. So this is the first question for you. If in triangles ABC and DEF, AB by DE is equal to AC by EF, then they will be similar when? Which out of these conditions will work in order to prove these two triangles to be similar? So let's do it. So over here guys, you can make a rough figure. Just make rough figure, two triangles ABC and DEF. Just make rough figures of ABC and DEF. So just mark these sides. So you see it is AB by DE. AB by DE is equal to AC by EF. AC by EF. So these will be similar when we just have to choose out of these options. So you see AB by DE is equal to AC by EF over here. So these two triangles will be similar when A is equal to angle A is equal to angle E. So you can say that if angle A is equal to angle E, these triangles will be similar by SAS similarity criterion. See if you take A is equal to E, then you can say side, side, angle, side, right or not? You can say over here side, angle, side. I hope it is clear. So let us take the next question. It is given in the figure that DE is parallel to BC. You know that parallel sides you show like this, parallel line segments. Yes or no? So AE is equal to A units. These things are given to you. You have to choose out of these options over here. So it is given over here that DE is equal to X and BC is equal to Y. This is X and this is Y over here. AE is equal to A units and uh, A is equal to A and EC is given. Okay, EC is B units over here. I hope it is clear. So let us do this question. So over here, you see DE is parallel to BC is given. So can we say that this angle is equal to this angle? Because they are corresponding angles. In the same manner, this angle is equal to this angle because they are corresponding angles over here. So can we say that triangle ADE, ADE is similar to triangle ABC? Can I say that it is similar to ABC? The reason being AA similarity criterion. You have studied angle angle similarity criterion in triangles. So can we not say over here that DE by BC is equal to AE by AC ratio of corresponding sides of two similar triangles are equal. Now in place of DE we have got X in place of BC we have got Y. Now what is AE over here guys? AE is nothing but A units. And what is AC? You have to take this total AC. So can I say it is A plus B units over here? Now you have to work out of the uh, according to the given options. So you see can I write X is equal to if you take Y on the other side, can I write it AY upon A plus B? So can we say that this option is working? X is equal to AY upon A plus B. I hope it is clear to you. So let us take the next question. ABCD is a trapezium in which AD is parallel to BC. So let us make a rough figure. You know that a trapezium is a quadrilateral in which one pair of opposite sides are parallel, right? in which AD is parallel to BC. So you, you have to do like this ABCD. So over here AD is parallel to BC, right? And see the diagonals are intersecting each other at point O. So let us make it. The diagonals you can, you can join over here, they are intersecting at point O over here, right? Now over here guys, uh, it is also given that OC is equal to 2OA. Now before that, see AD is parallel to BC is already given to us. So can we not say that suppose if this is angle 1 and this is angle 2 and this is angle 3 and this is angle 4, can we not say that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4 because they are corresponding angles? Can I say that? I am sorry, they are not corresponding, they are uh, alternate interior angles. They are alternate interior angles, right? 
I hope it is clear. Now, can we say over here very easily, therefore, we can say that triangle AOD is similar to triangle COB by AA similarity criterion, angle angle similarity criterion. Now, if the triangles are similar, can we not say that ratio of corresponding sides of two similar triangles are equal? So, can we not say over here that AO by CO, see we'll, we are taking those sides which are needed, we don't need to write every pair over here. So, we can write AD by CB over here, right? Now, you see it is already given that OC is equal to 2AO. So, can I write AO by CO, AO by CO is equal to 1 by 2? I hope it is clear. So, this is nothing but 1 by 2. Now, you see AD is also given 4.5 units centimeter. So, CB will be what guys? CB will be equal to 9 centimeter. If you cross multiply, CB will come out to be equal to 9 centimeter. So, this is the answer. I hope it is clear to you. So, let us move on to the next question. Let us do this. Do this. So, triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. If AM and PN are angle bisectors of ABC and PQR respectively, then and this is also given, you have to find AM upon PN. So, basically this is a property which you must remember and can be asked as a proof based question as well. That the ratio of corresponding angle bisectors of two similar triangles is equal to the ratio of their corresponding sides as well. It's a very simple thing. See, if you take a triangle, uh, they are ABC and PQR. So, let us take ABC and PQR over here, PQR and angle bisectors are given AM and PN. So, this is AM, this is PN, they are angle bisectors over here. So, uh, okay, so let us do it. Now, it is already given that ABC is similar to PQR, ABC is similar to PQR. So, we can say that angle A is equal to angle P because corresponding angles of two similar triangles are equal. So, can we not say over here that angle A by 2 is equal to angle P by 2. Now, suppose this is x, just for instance, we can take this is y. So, angle A by 2 is nothing but x and angle P by 2 is nothing but y because uh, this is the bisector, right? So, this is half of angle A and this is half of angle P. I hope it is clear. And also angle B is equal to angle Q because it is already given that ABC and PQR, they are similar. So, B is equal to Q is already there. So, can we not say that therefore, triangle ABM is similar to triangle PQN by AA similarity criterion. I hope it is clear. Now, you see if these two triangles are similar, can't we say that ratio of corresponding sides of two similar triangles are equal? So, let us do this over here guys. So, can I not say over here that uh, AM by PN, if you take AM divided by PN, it is nothing but equal to what guys, AM upon PN, it, it will be equal to AB by PQ. So, it is equal to AB by PQ only, right? Now, you see AB square upon PQ square is given 4 upon 9. So, can you not directly uh, get from here that AB by PQ is equal to 2 by 3 only? because 4 by 9 is the square of 2 by 3. So, therefore, AM by PN is equal to AB by PQ is equal to 2 by 3. So, therefore, you can say that option D is the answer. I hope this question is clear to you. So, let us do one more question in the chapter triangles. So, over here it is given that D, you have to get DE parallel to BA. You have to get this parallel to this. How will you get that? You know that in order to get uh, this parallel to this, you must have over here AE upon EC is equal to BD upon DC guys. So that you can use the converse of the basic proportionality theorem over here that if this upon this is equal to this upon this, then this is parallel to this using the converse of the basic proportionality theorem, right? So over here. AE is nothing but 3x plus 19 divided by EC is nothing but 
x plus 3 and this is equal to 3x plus 4 upon x, 3x plus 4 upon x. So, you just can cross multiply and simplify this. Cross multiply over here guys, you will get 3x square plus 19x and that is equal to 3x square plus 19. I hope it is clear. Now you see over here you can cancel out this. This was looking like a quadratic equation, but it is not a quadratic equation. So, you see 9 plus 4 is 13. This will get cancelled out. So, 19 minus 13 is 6. So, 6x is equal to 12. So, can we not say over here that x is equal to 2? So, therefore, x is equal to 2 is the answer. I hope this question is clear to you. So, this was for that question only. So, I hope the questions in the chapter triangles are clear to you. So that's all we needed to do in MCQs in the chapter triangles.